What level of modifications are required for a GT3 when installing turbos? They're missing a few parts. That duct right there flows air up and over the quarter through the intercooler that sits diagonally in the rear and then it exits out the rear of the car. A GT3 not having these things has no ability to flow air through an intercooler. Even though the chassis are the same and you can mount the intercoolers and frames up in there, there'd be no way to get air through it. So either you end up cutting the ducts into the rear quarters and changing the rear bumper skin out or you can install a water meth kit or install uh, water to air intercoolers or something else to provide a different means of cooling if you don't want to cut into the rear quarters and get these cool looking rear ducts. The GT3 would require bodywork and engine work to provide air inlets and ducted outlets for the intercoolers as well as a framework to hold them. However, if you used an air to water intercooler, a low boost system running E85 or pump plus meth, you could get away without intercoolers and keep the modifications to the engine only. 